Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. You are alive and no matter what you are going through, remember that today is a beautiful day. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances and social networks. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver the word of God in spirit and truth. Last night was last night. Tomorrow is here. Tomorrow is today. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery and today is a gift of God, which is why we call it the present. You have a fantastic present today. What will you do with your present? The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Learn from yesterday, live for today and hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Remember, today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day to love, believe, do and live. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Enjoy life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow is never promised. Don't be afraid of tomorrow, for you saw yesterday and love today. With the power of the spoken word, you can call your tomorrow to be what you desire it to be. No matter what, let your light continue to shine. Refuse the light to be dimmed. Don't worry, everything is going to be alright. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, I have favor from God and humans. Today's title for the short word for today's series is The Spoken Word, Part 6 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Romans, chapter 4, verse 17, quote, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were, unquote. The child Samuel ministered unto God before the prophet Eli. In their days, the word of the Lord was precious because there was no open vision. Eli went to lay down, and that was when the young Samuel heard his name. They were both falling asleep or sleeping, and the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, thinking it was Eli calling him. Samuel got to Eli and said, here I am, for you called after me. Eli told him he did not call, but asked Samuel to go back to sleep. The Lord called out Samuel again, and he ran to Eli for the second time. It happened for the third time. Eli now understood it was God's calling, so he instructed the young Samuel on how to approach the matter so he could be in communication with God. Samuel had not experienced God before. It was all new to him. God is still speaking to you, but you are too busy to pay attention. God was seeking the attention of Moses, who wasn't paying attention. God had to attract him with a burning bush in flame, but not burning. Moses was interested, he wanted to know what was going on, and that was when God spoke out to remind him that he was on holy ground. The problem with Samuel was that he did not recognize the voice of God. In the case of Moses, he was not paying attention to God. We all mess up our communication with God in different ways. God is always speaking, but are you paying attention so you can hear him? If you listen to him, will you recognize his voice? You must learn to recognize the voice of God. Having the Holy Spirit in your life is a game changer. With the Holy Spirit, you can easily hear and understand the voice of God. The Spirit of God lives in you. So rather than wondering where God is and how to connect with Him, 
you can have complete confidence that he lives within you and is always ready to guide you. We have reached the end of part 6 of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled The Spoken Word. Please don't go away. The Sure Word capsule is next. Nice. The Sure Word capsule is God's creative power. Welcome to the Sure Word capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sure Word capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. I am a person of integrity. I am a person of integrity. With the right attitude and specific goals. With the right attitude and specific goals. I have high energy. I have high energy. I am enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic. And I take absolute pride. And I take absolute pride in my appearance. In my appearance. And what I do. And what I do. I have a sense of humor. I have a sense of humor. Lots of faith. Lots of faith. Wisdom. Wisdom. And the vision. And the vision. Empathy. Empathy. And courage. And courage. To use my talents effectively. To use my talents effectively. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent. And I am valuable in all walks of life. And I am valuable in all walks of life. I have character and I am knowledgeable. I have character and I am knowledgeable. My convictions are strong. My convictions are strong. And I have a healthy self-image. And I have a healthy self-image. A passion for what is right. A passion for what is right. And a solid hope for the future and a solid hope for the future i am an honest sincere hard-working person i am an honest sincere hard-working person i am strict but fair and yet sensitive i am strict but fair and yet sensitive i am disciplined motivated and focused i am disciplined motivated and focused I am a good listener and patient. I am a good listener and patient. But take decisive action. But take decisive action. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am an encourager. I am an encourager. A good finder. A good finder. An excellent communicator an excellent communicator and I am developing winning habits and I am developing winning habits. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am obedient, I am obedient, loyal, loyal, responsible, responsible, dependable, dependable, and prompt and prompt i have a servant's heart i have a servant's heart i am ambitious and i am a team player i am ambitious and i am a team player i am personable optimistic and organized i am personable optimistic and organized i am consistent considerate and resourceful I am consistent, considerate and resourceful. I am intelligent, competent, persistent and creative. I am intelligent, 
competent, persistent, and creative. I am health conscious, balanced, and sober. I am health conscious, balanced, and sober. I am flexible, punctual, and thrifty. I am flexible, punctual, and thrifty. I am an honorable person. I am an honorable person who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity. Who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity life has given me. Life has given me. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time. It is my time. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness. And today, I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. We have reached the end of the Shoreward Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Shoreward Capsule. Please visit www.theshoreward.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also request a Shoreward Capsule to be created for any challenge you are experiencing. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion. You have been inspired, motivated, encouraged, and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise above your challenges because you are more than a conqueror. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.